Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are we doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. Welcome to the members area. We fold this pillar into a fucking stamp. So I like them, like jail pillars. One good thing about jail pillars, better than living here, they're really good hard pillars. I don't like soft pillars, they're for wimps. Right. Let me get that for that. Porky's Corner, top five, pound for pound. While well, I laid stinking in bed 7 a.m. Been a few alterations to my pound for pound list. I've decided that to be pound for pound, you've got to be undefeated and avoided. And uh, that's the new rules. So here's my top five pound, four pound list for May 2022, currently up to date. May 10th, May 10th. I want to know your top five pound for pound at the moment. I'll let you dissect mine and tell me yours and I'll give my opinion in the comments section. Okay. Right. My top five pound for pound list. In at number five. It's that he know you. He will blasted Jamie, Jamie McDonald into orbit. I just think he's a destructive puncher. I don't think people are queuing up for him. The price and the sense out of fights with him. Fair play to McDonald. He got paid well for fighting him. So well done. But uh, he's a destructive puncher and he hits you. You're going out, yeah. He's avoided. Like I said, people are not queuing up for him and he's undefeated. So, I know you, or, or as I call him, I know you. I call him I know you because I have little names that I call people, don't I? You know, and if I can't, if I'm, if my drawl is too lazy to pronounce the word, I just say, yeah, I know you. It, it doesn't enter. I'd have to think in my pea brain, do I? But I know you was my number five. So, number four. My number four guy. It's an odd one, that. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Beat a Beave. Beat a Beaver. R2 B to B, Biterbi. I hope you want to fucking pronounce it. It looks like Beat a Beave to me, so I call him Beat a Beave. Undefeated. Massively destructive puncher. He hits you, you go in, walks through everybody. He's avoided. Canelo has avoided him. Callum Johnson didn't avoid him, though, did he? But uh, everybody else was swerving him like the plague. We've got to see Bibble against him. Be a massive fight, that one, it. Be a massive fight. But uh, he, he's my number four guy, pound for pound. All right. He's my number four guy. Uh, undefeated world champion. About four year plus in it now. Do you know what I mean? That I know he was been a world champion only for a good few years. They deserve the positions. They're not one it wonders, are they? So Baturbi is my number four guy. So I think he's well deserved. He doesn't shout his mouth off, neither does I know you. So that's my top five and four. In at number three. Terence Crawford. People might say, Porky, start picking at number three, should be number one. It's my number three. So it's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. He's undefeated. You can split these five up whichever way you want. 
But these are the five main men at the moment. All undefeated and all swerved like the plague, unless people are getting mega money to fight him. If you don't believe me, go look at Bob Arum statements and things he's been coming out with the last few years. They're having to pay people top money to get him in with Crawford. I don't know if he's with Bob now. I'm not, sure, not so sure, but Terence Crawford, let me tell you, he's avoided and he's my number three. You know, he stops people. He's got skills to burn. He doesn't shout his mouth off, does he? So it proves that you don't have to be a big mouth to get anywhere in boxing, does it? So he's my number three. Number two, Errol Spence, undefeated, been a world champion since he took belt off Kel Brook. He's been a world champion on five years now, hasn't he? Five, six years. Avoided, Southpaw, got skills to burn, undefeated. Errol Spence, my number two, which brings me to the number one position. Number one position on Porky's Corner for pound for pound status. Porky's top five. This guy here, I haven't just picked this guy as a random. This guy's Olympic gold medalist. He's undisputed cruiserweight champion. He's now the unified heavyweight champion of the world. He's got all the belts at heavyweight. And Anthony Joshua activated a rematch clause to fight him on October the 8th. We're now May the 10th, and that rematch clause, even though it's been activated, we still haven't got a date. So what does that tell you? That fucking tells you that nobody wants to fight him, and Joshua's dragging his heels over fighting him, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? So as far as I'm concerned, he's avoided He's achieved a lot and he's undefeated. And that's how you get pound for pound status. You don't get pound for pound status like fucking Canelo, a drug cheat. Or Tyson Fury, a drug cheat times three. Avoiding people. You know what I mean? And layoffs and whining on about this and that and blah, blah, blah. This guy here, Usek, just gets on with it. Just like all the other ones. Do, do you know what I mean? He know you. Beta Beef, Crawford, Spence, Usek, all undefeated guys, all can bang. Do you know what I mean? All can fight in either styles and can switch and all that. These, these are the real deal, these people, avoided fighters. They're the top five fighters. You can put them in any order and spin it however way you want, but these five are the real fucking deal, let me tell you. The real deal. I'll dispute it with anybody. You're going to get crybabies that go, oh, I want Fury, I want Canelo. Drug cheats don't fucking count in my top five no more. Okay? Don't count. So, my opinion, I'm entitled to it. So, I want to know what's your top five. Send them in. If you want to send them into email and you want to come on the channel and you're respectful, I don't want people coming on my channel trying to be clever cunts, trying to be dicks. I don't want dicks on my Zoom. You will be fucked off if you're a dick. All right? Too many dicks are trying to fucking get on my channel to be clever cunts and make names for themselves. There won't be any of that. I'll just fuck them off. And get the fuck out of here. All right? I have a select select few people who come on the channel and it's enough for me. I don't want to fucking be doing it all day, Zooms and that. All right? because I'll have no life because this doesn't pay my fucking bills, Porky's Corner. Just so you know. All right? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for liking and subscribing. But nobody's forcing anybody to be a member on here. Okay? Nobody's forcing anybody, but it is appreciated. I've had these tuck-in ones. So... Come on, early to that. I felt fainty at work. Look at that. You're not eating, you're going to feel like you're going to faint, aren't you? So, that's about it, really. Can't get out now. I'm struggling to get a doctor. I've been told you have to ring 111. So, I'm banned from all doctors around here. All airlines have banned me. All doctors have banned me. Pubs banned me. I'm just not allowed anywhere, am I? 
I'm a fucking basket case. <laughs> right. Okie dokie. Peace out. Like I said, send me your top five in, or if you want to debate it on Zoom, we'll debate it on Zoom. But like I said, I don't want any clever dicks. I had a few fucking clever cunts last few weeks, and it fucking puts me off. People trying to be dicks, trying to make names for themselves by being utter pricks. All right? Peace out. <laughs>